Oh man, back home, finally. It has been way too long. What's up guys, hope you're having a great day today. You might notice that the van is in the garage and that means the Z3 is parked outside. I've left this thing outside for about two days now. I know that that's gonna annoy a lot of you guys and I'm very sorry about that. And on that note, we'll be testing one of my favorite games that I like to play, which is how much junk fits in my BMW Z3. And I know that you can't move out with a BMW Z3 as we saw a video or two ago, which if you haven't watched that, link in the description. Although you can stuff groceries in it, which if you haven't watched that video, link in the description. Today, we'll be testing if you can do an airport pickup in a BMW Z3. I have a sister who is coming into town today and we're gonna be picking her up in this. And hopefully it'll fit everything. Otherwise then um, I have no backup plan. I'm, I'm not bringing the Prius and I'm not bringing the van. So um, l let's hope it can all fit. If not, then, oh boy. So I don't really park my car out in the sun for like long periods of time, especially for two days straight. And let me tell you, getting in this car, it is boiling in here. Like I had to turn the AC down just to talk, but man, I was boiling through this and I needed the AC at full blast. So I'm kind of an idiot. Let me explain why. I have a cigarette lighter in the car right here. And usually I have a little USB cigarette lighter plugged in. And so what I was originally gonna do was like uh, plug the cigarette lighter in, uh, plug the USB in, and then charge my phone. That didn't work because for some reason my phone was not charging. And so I was like, okay, let me try another cigarette lighter. Plug that in, nothing. And then I tried, one second actually. So essentially, what I tried was to plug in a second cigarette lighter and that wasn't working either. So I was like, okay, it must be the actual cigarette lighter port thingy. This thing right here, I don't know what to call it. And so I, what I did first was I popped the hood and I changed the fuse. That didn't work. And my phone still wasn't charging. And so I was like, okay, let me try and mess with the prongs because that's what I saw online and I thought that would work. No. And then so what my third idea was, was to go into the Prius, grab a cigarette lighter from there, the one for the dash cam, plug it into here and see if that would work. Lo and behold, it worked. So all I needed was just another cigarette lighter that, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just made a completely idiotic move. I passed her. <laughs> I went to gate five and she's on gate two, so I'm a genius. All right, I have arrived and now I'm just trying to find a spot. But the problem is, it is a Tuesday at 6.30 and for some reason everyone and their mother decides to fly out on a Tuesday at 6.30. I was supposed to be at terminal two. I'm an idiot. I know this video has basically just turned into me not knowing how airports work, but yeah, I don't know how airports work. I don't know if it's just the airport I'm at or if it's just all airports in general, but it feels like when you enter an airport here, everyone's driving knowledge goes out the window, essentially. It, it's it's the stupidest thing imaginable, but I mean, what what can you do? A few inches later. So this is the result of how it went. Yeah, as you can see, the suitcase and the backpack all fit accordingly, and there were no issues. Alrighty, so it is a new day. I'm wearing another shirt and well, we're going to be working on both the Z3 and the Prius. But first we're going to start with the Prius because there's a battery issue, kind of. 
Okay, for some reason, there's mangoes in the car. I don't know why, but I'm gonna put them in the garage. You know, in all honesty, I figured that a box of mangoes would be a lot heavier than this, but they're not. And this box is even lighter. Like, too easy. Alright, so I kind of clickbaited you guys just a little bit, but essentially all I need to do is remove this panel right here to try and get to the battery air filter because we believe that there might be some stuff stuck in the filter and I need to get it out so that the car can get better fuel economy, hopefully. Hopefully. To help me on my journey will be a bunch of random tools and YouTube. Whatever videos I use, I'll link in the description below. But uh, I'm either going to do this really quickly or I'm going to suffer. Let's hope that's the first one. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. So what we got to do first is get these seats down like so. Okay, first try and get the seat belt out of the way. And then you can try to... Come on. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is not put the seat down or get the seat belt out of the way, it's get the headrest out. Oh my god. Okay. I think that should work. Hopefully, let me get my phone out of the way, otherwise that's going to get smushed. And I'm not in the mood to go out and buy a new cell phone. Okay then, so, what we need to get this out, which, uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what to do on this one. Chris Fix, help me. Toyota, thank you so much for putting a bolt under one of the worst spots to access. Yay! Where's my tool set? Alright, 12 millimeter. Is this even the right set? I grabbed the wrong tool box. I think this one might be a bit too big, but let's give it a shot. God damn it. I just dropped a socket in there. I've been at this for almost 30 minutes, and I haven't even started step one. I'm doing great. Hair. I love it. Yeah. How do you do this on your own? Chris Fix. How do you do this on your own? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. All you're gonna do is pull it up to unhook it, and now it's open. Oh, 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 oh ow! And then you lift up! Lift up! Lift up! Why? Why, Toyota, have you designed it like this? It can break also. Yeah, that's the scary part. Oh! I think we got it yet. We just need to change the filter. I mean, clean we'll the clean filter. It out. That's the filter. Yeah. I'll get the leaf blower. So after about an hour and some help from my dad, we got the filter out. But always, the reinstallation is always going to be worse than the disassembly. Several bad puns later. Status report. It is 2.30. I started this, I want to say, at like 1.30. And the filter has been cleaned. I hope this is the reason for bad fuel economy. I hope it's getting better. Yeah. And when I say bad fuel economy, it's still like 40 miles a gallon. So it's still double my Z3. So with the Z3, it looks nice right now, kind of, but if you examine a lot closer, there are, it, it's a mess. This car is a disaster. 
There's dead bugs all over the front. There's some on the mirror. It's everywhere. So what we're gonna do is clean the car and also detail it because the inside is just as messy. But to do that, first we gotta move the Prius. So it's gonna be gone off the driveway in three, two, one. And just like that, the Prius is gone and the Z3 is right in the center. And so what we're gonna do, or well, what I'm gonna do is use the handy dandy phone and ask Chris Fix. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. So I've moved the Z3 into this corner because the hose can't reach if the Z3 is parked over there. And so it's here in this little corner and let's get started. Hopefully this goes a lot smoother than the Prius. All right, let's see if this thing is on. Hopefully it is. Okay, yeah, it's on. Or not. Okay, test two. Oh, yep, that's good. All right, well in that case, I don't have a foam cannon, so you guys are gonna hate me for this, but essentially, yeah. Oh, but, all right. Okay, so after a lot and a lot of suffering, because I'm an idiot, the entire other side, well, back side of the Z3 is covered in soap, so let's go wash it off. The sun is drying off, is drying off the Z3 right now, so I gotta rush, but I have an idea as to how I can go a bit faster than it. Okay, uh, let's hope this ends well. I, I, I'm worried about this thing hitting the Z3, but... And it went wrong. Yay. Okay, so for the most part, the exterior of the Z3 is cleaned up, but there's one spot left, and it's on here. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is just gross, but it is doing the job. It does look a lot cleaner. Oh man, this is disgusting. 12 seconds later. I have missed doing this. I haven't been able to do it since the bird pooped on my car. But now the roof is off. Alright, shop vac acquired. Uh, I need to put this down. This thing weighs a ton. I forgot just how nice the Z3 looks with the roof off. I put the windows down as well because the last thing I need is a giant shop vac hitting into glass and potentially breaking something. That is not a good day and today is a decent day. Nah, I'm kidding. Today's a good day. All right, so the Z3 has been cleaned up, as you can see right there. I'd say that she looks pretty well. I know it's not catching on camera, but before, I mean, it's covered in soot. Now it's a lot cleaner. So yeah, if you liked today's video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. And if you like what you're seeing, leave a subscribe. And just like that, I am out. I'm gonna probably take my hair out of this ponytail and take a shower. Peace.